Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.Core and this is the next video tutorial of hotel reservation system and hotel booking, uh, hotel room booking system uh, designed to in ASP.NET Core. This is the, uh, actually it's a type of online applications and where your customer can uh, book your hotel rooms online. <coughs> so what's going just after the before video, you can say that uh, first of all add a new uh, a role in this video so here we have uh, just discussed the uh, video number two here we have a um, connection string and uh, here we have a application db contact file okay so and the next one is just create a identity pages so here we have a identity pages and in the program.cs file here we have a entry for the identity pages so there is now just remove this options that is required confirmed account so just okay and add a new role at here so just add identity and in which you can add identity role Okay, so here we have ident add identity, identity user and identity role. So add entity framework for. So here you can say add razor pages. So you can add builder dot services dot add razor pages. And in the next thing you can do with the map razor pages. So app dot map razor pages okay so you can add the new thing um, in the asp.net core that is under the layouts folder so here we have a shared uh, layout.cshtml file in the layout.cshtml file just you have to add partial page so you can say that partial and name equals to underscore login dot partial login partial okay so after that uh, you can do the some migrations here we have a repository there is the application where your application db context is there so just check again your connection strings uh, in the application db server local db ever sql local db database hotel project db Trusted connection true, multiple active result sets is also true. So, and another one is local DB, MS SQL, local DB database is portal.wap. Trusted connection equals to true, multiple active result sets is also true. There is the second DB connection, there is the application DB con uh, context connection is there, uh, is already added. Okay, so uh, just remove the one section because you can see in the program.cs only the one connection string is there here we have application and use sql server that is the default connection so just remove this connection string okay And use the migration the identity pages you can see in the here we have a account section okay all right now do for the migration test you get package manager console add migration in it okay so this is the first migration and you can see that here we have a hotel.web so that's, uh, that's fine it's not good for your uh, migration because your uh, application db context is actually exist in the repository uh, project so just select the repository from here and just do again migration add migration in it so the migration is complete successfully uh, applied and just after that you can do 
update my uh, database okay so build failed uh, after the update my uh, update database so first of all in the model section build first zero succeeded zero failed uh, zero failed and one to update there is no file in the model section and here we have a sql server model uh, builder extension because in the repository section uh, just install sql server microsoft dot uh, aspnet entity framework code dot sql server um, package so just control dot uh, key oops there is not exist so just right click on the project name and just go for the manage nuget package and here we have select sql server and in the Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot SQL Server package, just I accept. Okay, and the final is the problem is resolved actually. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, after that, we just do some migration again. Update database. After selecting the update database, your fields are actually existing in the. Uh, Actually, um, your total, uh, your fields uh, related to the ASP.NET Core tables, ASP.NET Core identity tables is uh, uh, so. Just check the database first of all. <coughs> connect to the database. So, so there is a no need actually connect to the database command. So just open the SQL Server. Hotelweb.db, I think it's a pro, uh, database name. So just expand the database node first of all in the SQL Server, SQL Server Object Explorer. And here we have a hotelweb. Sorry, my web, it's not a hotel web, online, uh, online hotel.web is the project name. So wait for some times and do you see the old tables are actually uh, exist in the database related to ESP.NET Core identity. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. And the next step is to do in the project that is a role. Uh, and before going to the role, first of all, uh, create a new application user inside your uh, inside your models folder. So just add a new class inside the model folder first. First class, and that class is application user class. Okay, and make it public first of all and application user class is actually inherited with the identity user actually identity user is exists in microsoft asp.net core.identity.not uh, just install a new package manage new package manager console and here we go for uh, identity the actual identity package uh, few work with this so here we have this is the one microsoft.asp.net core.identity.entity framework core so this is the that is the package where your all file exists so in the application user class just resolve the issue okay and you can add extra fields like name So just go for here we have the, these are the tables okay now uh, the next step is to do in the hotel reservation project that is to create a new DB initializer class and before doing this first of all add a new uh, here we have a program.cs file you can see 
and in the add identity project so here we have uh, identity user identity role so just add dot default token provider add default token providers for uh, default token provider you have uh, must have to use i email sender because in the registration phase we have a email sender class so just you can see in the registration dot html file and here uh, here you can see that here we have i email sender class uh, i email sender dependencies so first of all what should you do for this add a i email sender in the utility project so here we have just remove that thing from here class one and add a new class email sender class and email sender class first of all make it public inherited with the i email sender okay and this resolve package that is entity framework code and actually existing in the identity so just in the utility also identity package and here we have a package so just uh, use edit project file item group so just copy and in the utility edit project file and here we have so just save this and you can see in, in just resolve this issue oops there is no that is the package asp.net core dot identity package uh, dot entity framework core the type of the okay that, that's problem is resolved i think install package microsoft asp.net core dot identity dot ui package okay so just install it first of all and resolve the problem but uh, implement interface so just return task dot completed task okay and also use this uh, interface inside your program.cs file here we have so just add builder dot services dot add scoped i email sender and email sender add reference to utility project and your problem will resolve okay so uh, here you can see that application user is also there so add the application user in the application application user is also created so in the repository package application db context add a application user at here so drop set application user add reference model application users okay so everything is fine now just after you can do uh, add some migration again Related to the or uh, and uh, that package, so add migration add user.
and just go for the update database command your application user property will be uh, inserted into the application uh, asp.net user class so everything is done now just go for the uh, roles project roles so just go for the program.cs file and here we have a identity role so uh, add a new feature in the identity ro uh, role so add a db initializer class in the utility folders okay uh, this task is actually uh, done in later videos so wait for some times and keep uh, watching for all videos which is related to uh, portal reservation process and learn many more about uh, key points about the ASP.NET Core. So thank you guys and don't forget please subscribe my channel.